Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very special video here. Uh, this is, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail and the intro of the video, this is Medicine Creek. So this map is a conversion by MRG um, and it was done with No Creek's permission, No Creek being the official uh, modder of the original version of this map. MRG and No Creek uh, worked together actually to bring it over into 19 and then obviously now MRG has converted it once again into FS22 for us to enjoy uh, this year in Farming Simulator. So uh, very excited about this one. I know a lot of you are as well. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. I love this map. This was my favorite map in 19 along with Lincoln Creek, so MRG's maps are always really good and hit the spot for me. So so yeah, I got a few uh, notes here from MRG that I'm going to read out for you guys. The map currently has little to no errors in it right now. Uh, he's been, MRG's been working hard to get as many errors down, uh, at least game affecting ones, as he can. Uh, Obviously, a public release does shine a little light on these issues, so or any issues that may arise. So they will be updated once uh, issues are found. Uh, this is a beta version. Uh, it's not on his Patreon. He's publicly releasing this, so you guys can enjoy it for free, and which is very nice of him. But there, that means without the testing of it before a public release, there probably will be some issues found. So you need to be patient, be polite to MRG and uh, just help him to get the errors fleshed out if you find them. A few features of the map are the addition of alfalfa, corn stalk bales, corn drying, propane, anhydrous, and silage corn. So you can enjoy those features. I always do enjoy a separate corn type, such as silage corn compared to your standard corn type usually you use a different the, the mappers will use a different corn texture as well which is nice one kind of closer for chopping silage corn uh, and one closer to you know shelling corn which is really nice he's made a bunch of visual adjustments to the map uh, but it is still in the same spirit as the original map as you'll see probably have seen quite a bit in the intro as well but you will see a little bit more detail a lot of stuff is very much the same and there are some, a few things that are different but it doesn't change medicine creek it's very much still medicine creek the one that you, most of you are going to know and love so yeah i just want to say thank you to mrg uh thank you to no creek for giving mrg permission for us all to enjoy this map and we'll get into the map tour Alright, so obviously we are starting here at uh, Callan Implements, so we'll just come out here to the main road quick. We'll turn back in the back side of the dealership here. There's a John Deere dealership with all of the uh, pre-staged models there, which is always a nice little touch. I enjoy to have a few uh, actual pieces of equipment in the dealership. Nice to uh, see that. Some bobcats in there. We'll come down here to one of the first cell points, which is your feed feed and grain south. You can pull into here with your wagons or your semi truck. Come through here. You can dump in. To the bins. Nice dryer sounds as you pull through. Always appreciate the little details there. Then you can just pull through the back and you're through. Uh, I do believe these doors open. I'm not 100% sure. We'll check together. They do. You can use this shop if you want to, do a little role play or something, which is always a nice touch. So as we pull out of Feed and Grain South, we will head directly west to the first farm. It's going to be one of your first cattle farms. 
It has a few bins on it. We're going to blow through the stop sign. Because this is a 4x map, so it is going to take a little bit of time to get through this. Probably won't. We'll probably kind of jump cut through to each of the farms, so. This was a very popular farm. At least from what I think <laughs> in the previous version. So you have your shed here. Very nice. I do believe that these are all retextured, which is a nice detail, because the models definitely needed some updating. Uh, these are North Dakota modding and mappings bins. The MRG has been using quite a bit on his maps. Nice, very nice souk up bins. Uh, another shed here. I want to say this is JCL's shed. I think. Bale storage here, which I do believe is auto load, and another cattle yard. Come across here, you have a silo and another barn. Very nice as we drive into the ditch. I always like this farm because it's kind of split across the road. Always really like that touch on it. One thing that I also really like about this map is this, like, the satellite silo sites. Really enjoy that part of this map. So, obviously, as we drive down here, we're going to see one of the, one of two satellite silo sites. Bin sites, I guess, not silo sites, bin sites. Very nice bin site here. With a dryer. I want to say these dry corn, not 100% sure. Yes, these are going to dry corn uh, as they are production. I do own the whole map, so we can take a look at the PDA here. Uh, it does have a working train, which is awesome. And yeah, I mean, all the fields are working and uh, here's all your farmlands. So good stuff. This is looking looking great so far i've not done much looking around other than kind of the visual stuff for the montage already but yeah it's uh feels like home almost to me because i spent so much time on this map <laughs> already in fs19 and it just it's kind of a nice little hit of nostalgia for me uh, as you can see, there are the seasonal foliage uh, grasses installed into the map as well. Which is always a nice little touch. Always good to have those changing grasses with the seasons. A look at the river. Awesome as always. So we'll head up to the next cell point over here. Which is the... Uh, it's, uh, what is that one? It's Larson's, I think, is the actual name of it. So we'll, uh, we'll head up there and take a look at that next. Alrighty, so we are rolling up here on, uh, the Larson's Green Cell Point. It's got the train sitting there. Laredo, not Larson's. Laredo Grain Company. There we go. I knew it was an L.A. R. <laughs> Laredo Green Company. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, MRG. Didn't mean to botch that one. Uh, yeah, so we got the uh, dryer running right now. It's a big tower dryer over there. We got the shop sitting here. We'll check and see if the doors do open on this one. I always like this shop. Yep, they do open. The shop was always one of my favorites. It's a good one. So that works. So what can we do here? There's a, there is a gas station there. There's a rent to train and there is the actual dump point there. So I do believe this is probably going to be your uh, rent point. Yep. So this is where you're going to rent the train. The train is custom on this map. It is very long. <laughs> very. It's one of those that's like... A lot like uh, Tahitian, if you played Tahitian, it's very long, which I like, because 
base game train, it's, uh, you know, I don't, you never see a train that short, so you, it's always nice to see the, the long train. Oh, here, well, here, we're even getting a glimpse of it. Perfect. There's a train running through. She's zooming. It's quick. It is quick. But it's still going. So yeah, as you can see, it's a nice a nice long train. So we will continue to head around the map. So we're gonna go this way. I wanna say, do we go yeah, we go this way, right? Yep. So we go this way. You know I never really played this side of the map much back in 19 so you always you kind of take this side or this this turn all the way around if you wanted to go back towards the middle of the map you can take it this way which is always nice back towards the main road nice to have that like cut through the map so you don't have to drive all the way around to get up to the the north side right so our next stop is going to be the uh, cattle farm on the northwest corner should be coming up but we'll catch you guys over there so yeah as you can see this is the uh, cattle farm up here in the northwestern side there are a few different changes here some bins and uh, the house there by Elk Mountain a classic one of the one of the best houses in the game used a lot <laughs> by a lot of mappers and players alike we pull in here we have a little bit of a lean-to shed with a diesel barrel there another storage shed in here and another storage shed right here you got plenty of storage got your bins which should dry it should be drying bins I want to say Yes, souk up corn dryer, so they will dry your corn for you. And then we also have a harvest store here, which is a nice little touch. So you can obviously pull your silage blower up right there and then pull up a feeder wagon or whatever you're using to feed your cattle. And uh, under the uh, auger there. And then rock up over here and this is your feed trigger as well as a manure spawn there uh, we'll take a look can you it looks like you can feed inside the uh, bale ring as well the bale ring as well it's also a very nice touch the classic MRG bird sounds inside the the barn I always love those I always love the bird sounds it's like a a staple on Ashton Corners which most of you know that I spent quite a bit of time on so yeah that is this cattle farm this is also I feel like all the farms are just really all the farms are always have always been really solid on this map I love I love this barn. This is one I wish uh, would have been or moved over to FS nineteen or FS twenty two a little bit sooner. Uh, this I, yeah I don't know I don't know what it is about this barn, but I always really enjoyed this barn. So yeah, do a little cattle, little little uh, arable, a little bit of both. I feel like to me this is more of a beef style farm if you want to do a little bit of like you know beef on the side along with your arable operation this is like the perfect farm for you you got plenty of storage for your arable arable equipment or whatever equipment you need over on this farm so we'll go head straight down east here and we'll check out the cell points that have been there and some new stuff as well. Uh, I 
don't know if we'll... Yeah, we're going to take some... Actually, we'll take some time quick to check out the other satellite bin system. I always, I tend to always use this bins, these bins. I really like these bins. Because I do a lot of... I've always done a lot of farming over... On this part. Because I'm more of a flat... I'm more of a flatland farmer than a... Than a hilly guy, so I tend to buy a lot of these fields over here. We're pulling up into this bin site here. This also has a drying function. All of the bins, if they have a dryer, do have the drying function. So you have your pit, and then you have your unload uh, bin there, the overhead bin. Always nice to have a nice overhead bin. I always like this one too because it has the uh, little drive under shed thing to dump into. Back on the main road here. And I did turn the HUD, HUD on because, you know, when I actually watch a map tour, I do enjoy seeing the map as well. It's kind of nice to know where you're at because you know if you never played this map you might want to kind of know the layout a little bit get you a better look at the PDA as well so here we do have a dairy cell point this was added I do not I do not recall this from the previous versions but it is a nice touch we have the dairy in here And then we also have a anhydrous buy point. Always nice to have anhydrous. You pull under here, fill up your anhydrous tanks. Heartland Co-op branded. Some decorational uh, equipment. Very nice, as well as a propane buy point for your corn dryers. These are cell points that have been here. So this is your animal cell point, as well as a bale cell point, I want to say. I'll take a look at the map quick to confirm. I do believe this is a bale cell point right there. We have a manure by point, interesting. I want to say the manure by point is actually your anhydrous by point. It's just not. The labeling is just not there yet. So you pull in up here to Galt, you can pull onto the scale, get probed, make sure you're moist, or so they know your moisture. Uh, this is your solid fertilizer buy point right here. I like that. This Nutrient Ag Solutions is your liquid fertilizer buy point. Or herbicide? Herbicide. So this is herbicide. That Those two bins are going to be your liquid fertilizer. And then this one, I'm going to say, is maybe lime? Is there? It, maybe it's not an actual... It looks like it is. Maybe lime. Can we, can we load anything in the back? <laughs> Well, that's all right. So then you can pull in over here into these and you can sell your crop. Very nice. I like this. I've always liked this sell point the most. Not sure why, but I always tended to uh, sell, my, sell my crop there the most. So next thing is we are going to head up into the hills once again make our way up to the dairy farm which is located kind of on the eastern side of the map cross over the river once again maybe you want to take it a little slower than me so you're not breaking axles on your truck yeah, i can't wait to dive into this this is going to be awesome this is going to be awesome i can't wait for you guys to dive into it too so here's a good example of your differences in silage corn. 
So, this is going to be your silage corn here. You can kind of see the difference there. It is the Benji FS corn textures. It looks a little bit different. Kind of has the grassy stuff in there. And then over here, we have your actual corn corn that you're going to shell. So it does look, you can kind of see the difference in texture. This just has weeds in it, so that's not actually a visual effect of the corn texture to have the grass in there. So, yeah, so these ones are AW moddings. AW moddings, I think, is what uh, those corn textures are. So, yeah, I like that. I like, like I said earlier, I like having the different looking corn for chopping and for shelling. So as we come around here, we'll pull the map back up and see us over on the east side. We got some cows out in the pasture. Very, very large pasture. That is connected to the freestall barn up here. So, so, so things have changed on this farm. Got some uh, silage bags there. Got your a store, nice equipment storage shed here. Freestall that you feed your cows through the center alley there, and obviously the chute there is going to be where you load your cows and unload them. Come around here, you have your slurry pit. Uh, this will be a working cow pen as well at some point a auto loading bale shed and a commodity shed here so very nice some nice additions to this farm definitely a, a slightly slightly different than what it was in a previous version yes a very nice dairy farm if you are into the dairy side of things so next we're going to head down the main road, main highway, over to the big arable farm. So this is a cool idea with the new, this is one thing I've been thinking of, with the new extended animals, pastures, whatever it is, mod that just recently came out as of the time of recording this video. Uh, this would be a cool, these two areas would be really cool for cattle pastures. Throw up some fence, throw up some... Create your own cattle pastures in those areas. I would love that. I think that would be really, really cool. This farm is just really... I, I just love this farm. Uh, nice farmhouse over here. This is one of my favorite farmhouses. I tend to use this house a lot myself in farm builds. So I'm happy RG added that one right into this farm. Then we come down the hill... We got a very large bin set up that is also set up for corn drying. Uh, North Dakota modding and mappings fuel tanks there. Nice big shop. This was a uh, legacy shop, or not legacies, uh, TPF shop. I think this is one of TPF's first shops that he ever released. And a nice cold storage shed also by TPF that has been redone. Uh, Towards the beginning of FS22, uh, this this one this model obviously is not that one, but it is uh, the one that was baked into the map. And then we have our very nice big dump pit here. That would take uh, that'll take your corn in no time. You're not going to be slowly unloading trucks with that big old pit. So, so that is your big arable farm. We are coming to a near completion of this map. We'll just head out the south drive out of this farm. Hop across the bridge. And take a left and we'll be back on the main highway. So this, so this road, if we took a right, would cut us all the way through up around and over to this cell point and can get up to the northwestern farm there as well. This is kind of the main road that cuts through the map. Just wanted to make you guys aware of that. So 
We'll take a right now out of here. And we'll head back to the shop. So yeah, that's uh this is Medicine Creek. If you I'm sure a lot of you played on it. But if not, I highly, highly, highly recommend giving it a try. It is very good. It's just a really, really good map. And then the little additions that MRG added make it even better. Great for row cropping. Uh, great for, you know, cattle. Great for arable. Whatever you want to do. It's uh, just a really, really good map. Uh, by the time of release, there, the version I have now, the, all of the animal pens aren't in yet but by the time of public release they will be so I just wanted to say thank you to MRG for just allowing me to have an early access version of this and uh, letting me do this map video MRG has been a huge supporter of my channel uh, for a long time now and I can't appreciate that enough uh, go check out his patreon he has plenty of maps available for you guys to try He's in his Discord, hanging out with people, helping people out all the time. It's more than just paying for maps. You get access to MRG himself, which is really, really great. Uh, go check out No Creek. Uh, no Creek is uh, currently in the process of uh, constructing another incredible map, Loma, Montana. Uh, I've had an opportunity to take a look at that map as well, and you guys are going to be absolutely blown away by that one. There are There is a beta version out right now on No Creek's Patreon, so I highly recommend if you want to go check that out and help test uh, to do so. Uh, yeah, so thanks, thank you to them for uh, just allowing MRG to convert this. Thank you to MRG for letting me do this map tour video support those guys in any way that you can uh the patreon thing helps those guys get paid the way that they should be paid because this game is nothing without the modders that make this game great so thank you to all the modders out there thank you to mrg thank you for you guys thank you to you guys for watching and we'll catch you later